makeup turned out so good today. I actually see my eyelashes. This is gonna be a first good day of school. I can feel it. Oh, great. <laughs> Okay, so I'm late to class. No biggie, I'll just quietly walk into class and everything will be all right. Come on, Miranda, just turn the knob. It's not gonna be embarrassing. No, everyone's gonna look at me. I think I'm just gonna skip school for today. Wait, no, I can't. Today's the first day of school. This is definitely not my classroom. I'm gonna be so late to class. Life can be stressful sometimes, so today I'm going to show you how to be less stressed by getting organized. So last year in college, I chose to have a binder for every class, and this is how it kind of worked out for me. Oh, too many books, too much school, too much. Ah. So I decided I could be a lot more organized and it would be a lot easier if I kept one binder for all my classes. I am taking four classes this semester so I am going to be using a 2 inch binder. Next I recommend designating a color to each class and then having a folder for each class. The folders are going to be used as dividers and it's a great place to store your graded papers and homework. It's important to keep that stuff so you can look back on it when studying for your tests. There are two important papers that you'll receive for each class. That's your syllabus and class schedule. Make sure to print them out and add them to your binder because you'll need to refer back to them all semester. I'd recommend buying a hole puncher so that you can place your papers in your binder. You can find this one at Walmart for $8. Now that you have everything hole punched, take your syllabus and your class schedule and put one in each section of your binder for each class. Then place loose leaf paper at the beginning of your binder so that you have paper to take notes with. A great organizational tool is post-it tabs. Use them to section off the chapters for your class so that you can easily flip to the right notes when studying for a test. You can also use them to mark important pages in your textbooks. A great study tool is note cards. Write down a keyword and then the definition on the other side. Writing out the words will help you remember them better. And right now I'm in the middle of making note cards for my nutrition class because I have a test coming up soon. Your phone can be a great study tool. There are a lot of great academic apps out there. One I use a lot is called Flashcards Plus and is basically electronic flashcards so that you can study wherever you go. Next, I recommend color coding everything and highlighting important info so that you know exactly what you need to study. Sticky notes are a great way to remind you of important things you need to know. Stick them anywhere to remind you, like your fridge, your mirror, your desk, or even your dog. Actually, scratch that. Maybe not your dog. 
Now that you know how to get organized, it's time to personalize your school supplies. I'm going to show you how to make a Tumblr inspired binder. First, you're gonna need a binder and cute Tumblr pictures. To get Tumblr-esque looking pictures, I searched Tumblr and Tumblr Transparent in Google. Then I dragged my favorite photos to my desktop and then put them on a Word document and printed them out. Next, you'll need a glue stick, scissors, a piece of cardstock paper, and a piece of scrapbook paper. Now cut out all of your Tumblr photos. Once they are all cut out, start placing them on the cardstock and figure out how you want it to look. Rearrange them until you like it and then glue them down. Now place it in the front of your binder and you now have a tumblerized looking binder. To add color to the side of your binder, take one of your scrapbook pages, place it next to your binder to measure how thick it needs to be. Mark it with a pencil, then cut it out and place it in the side pocket of your binder. And here's the finished look. It's very cute and inexpensive to make. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have not seen my last video, go ahead and click now to watch it. And I will see you all in my next video. Oh my gosh, guys, look. I found a panda class. Ah, look at all the pandas. Ah, it's so cute!